Okay. Okay, this video demonstration is going to be for the ID belay. Uh, Rick has an ID in his hands here. He's going to demonstrate rigging it up and the proper use technique for the ID belay. We have an anchor set up here. So uh, first thing Rick will do, he's got his rope with him there. We'll open up the open up the cheeks on the ID. And we'll properly load the uh, rope into the ID. The end of the rope, of course, goes to our rescuer. And on the ID, when you open up the cheeks, you'll see a uh, one of the slots, one of the grooves where the rope can be placed. It has a uh, has a loop or a bite of rope in it, and that is where the end of the rope essentially should be plugged in. Well, once the rope's loaded properly, you can close the cheeks, and we can clip that into the anchor. The way we'll do this, pull sharply onto the load end of the strand. The ID grabs, the anchor engages, and we have our ID loaded properly. Now we can go back to the ID and ensure our rope is positioned where we want it. As you can see, the brake strand of the rope comes underneath the load strand. Rip, Rick has positioned himself on the left-hand side of the ID and a little bit behind it, so he's cut basically near the uh, fix and focus. Right hand, Rick will grasp the ID, as we say, like holding a taco, but just holding it um, in his right hand there, and he's got it firmly held. With his left hand, Rick, will with an underhand um, grasp, grab the rope, and pull it directly out to his left. Anchor line is something, utility line um, of the anchor. There should be no slack in that. As you can see, all the slack is out of that. So as you're belaying down, if there should be a mainline failure, and the belay is loaded, the tension will Pull the ID in the rope right out of your hands and you can just let go of them and the ID will walk up on its own and secure them. So we'll go ahead and call stop. And then in order to lock the ID, you merely grab the handle, pull it around clockwise until it won't go any further. No need to force it, just push it as far it is, as it will go and that lock will confirm. And just to uh, back that up, we'll just throw a, a knot downstream of the device itself. Anywhere downstream is fine, six inches, ten inches down. It doesn't need to be butted up against the device. And now it's um, we can visually um, come up to this belay that's locked off. We can see the anchor, the handle is in the uh, lock position. There's a knot backing it up and from this position it's fine to walk away. Continue belaying from a locked position and untie the knot. release the handle and put it back into the belay position as demonstrated right there. Rick will hold the uh, ID in his right hand and grasp the load strand in his left. And once again, going out straight out to the side and then John will belay up as you can see the handle is pointed downhill. He's got the brake strand now is in his left positions himself downhill from the device. He's got the load strand in his right hand. Now as he pays the rope into the ID with his right hand, he pulls out of the ID toward himself with his left hand. It's a synchronized effort between both hands. And then he smoothly and methodically, simultaneously, feeds the rope in one hand and pulls it the other.